So, uh, I went to my parents' place today, and unfortunately, uh, my oldest uh, daughter's uh, boyfriend, or was gay, she lives with gay, she lives with doesn't sound right, it's sambo is the right word, it's Swedish word, but anyway. Um, uh, he got uh, this stomach bug because he has a brother, which are the same age as Ru. I think it's not kind of funny because we're really the same age and um, we both have this gap, like, for so many years between the siblings. Uh, I think that's quite funny, but because it's quite unusual to have that long gap between siblings in the family, I think, but yeah. Uh, anyway, <coughs> I still went there. Uh, I and Ro and Ro had a lot a good time and I had too. Um, bad thing is that my dad's uh, car broke down on the way there and um, so it was kind of circus to get a new car and because I couldn't fix it right away and as it's Sunday shops are closed and um, so on so yeah. And because he repaired things like that on his own because he's good at things like that. Well it's been his work not to go to repair cars but to construct and build machines and things like that, so he's like really good at that kind of stuff overall. Like, I mean, he builds motorbikes and violins and, uh, yeah, I know it's some difference between that, and the guitars of different kinds and, <coughs> and so on, so it's like really gifted when it comes to doing things with his hand. And I guess I got some of my uh, creative side from him once, yeah. So, yeah, uh, anyway, that was what we've been doing today uh, and um, tomorrow it's work again yay I actually like it I like to go to, go to my work and um, I talked a lot about it but I really do love it and uh, it's gonna be nice and another thing I like today is my shirt I know maybe it's, I showed, showed it before it looks like this but I really like it and yeah um, it's like I don't like what this place looks like but I don't care because it's it's really comfortable it's really nice and um, I really like this um, the shape of the cut of it, the side of it, uh, and the other with um, the same um, model but different uh, uh, patterns and so on. And I've been thinking about buying some more because they're really comfortable. And I don't have many uh, tops like this or shirts like this. I, I could use a few, a few more. Another not so funny thing happened last night. This was like this bad event because uh, I had made this chocolate waltz. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know if you call it chocolate ball in other places, I don't even know if you have it in other places, but Sweden eat both, Swedish people eat those all the time. And uh, I made those and I gave half, give half of them to Saka because she really loves, uh, really loves those and uh, I had the rest of them, or was going to have the rest of them. And I took a bite of them, one of them, and I just felt like it was a little bit hard and I just bite a little bit harder and went, oh, I thought, okay, I cracked my teeth. And it's uh, a tooth, and uh, I could feel it was, it was a really big piece of something in my mouth. I think like, oh my god, this not right. Mm -hmm. And trying to feel, you know, where did it crack? Which tooth was it? And I couldn't really find it. And I had this big piece in my mouth that I had to take it out. And it's like, this doesn't really, really something is off. So it washed it off in water, and then I realized it's not a piece of my tooth. Yay! It's a piece of glass. It's like this big glass piece, and it's like, mm. yes, I know you can eat glass if you're really careful, but I don't like to serve glass to my kids. So you have to run on to Saga and tell them that um, it's glass and your chocolate balls, and it was like, can't I eat them very carefully? Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You don't eat glass balls. You don't eat things with glass in. No, no, not in my home. So, yeah, I was really disappointed, but of course, with natural instinct, you can't eat them, but yeah. So, blah. And also, uh, I got my, um, as I talked a lot about this, uh, with this computer, and um, I got my um, screen and keyboard and this mouse. I haven't used a mouse for years, but you, I mean, you need that to touch on a computer, so. Anyway, I got those today and I was plugged in and everything and also the cord, yeah, cord for um, internet uh, because um, we have wireless, not sure why Wi-Fi in the house, but um, it is faster and it's 
easier with a direct line to the internet when you have such a computer. There's no reason really to not have a, such a, have a quad when you have such a computer. So I <coughs> was plugged in and I was like, oh yeah, this can work. No, not a keyboard. Mm. So tomorrow I'm going to destroy to buy a new keyboard, but um, I'm still really happy because I can see everything was working, internet was working, the screen was working, everything was running smoothly. Besides, I can't type anything, which is quite a big issue when you're using a computer, especially your computer to type on something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm still glad because it was working the rest of it. I, did, I didn't expect everything to run that smoothly. So I was like, yeah, okay, it's this keyboard is broken because something has to be broken. It can't be like everything just work perfectly from start. That being like, hmm, <laughs> that never happens. But um, yeah, so that's gonna do 